Started with the whiskey, it ended in a fight. The devil plays dirty, and that ain't right. Feel silently miserable as darkness falls. Just a few short hours for the best time of my life. biggest disasters we've ever been through as a band. <laughs> we've been through a few. Uh, we were at uh, our apartment and uh, sitting around one evening and these tornadoes were coming through. It was April 27, 2011. And we're sitting around the apartment, no electricity, not really knowing what's going on around us, not knowing how crazy it is. And we get a call from Russ Hausman, who is our stage manager. and. We rehearsed at his house, and we were building a studio in the back of his house, and all he says to me is, is it's gone, it's gone, man. And I'm like, what? He says, everything we own, everything you guys have, it's all gone. Um, apparently the F5 tornado went right through his house, picked it up, threw it probably over 50 yards, and destroyed everything. And everything we had, had all, ever owned as uh, musicians was in that building, including his personal stuff. But it was just so much of a shock to see how much, how fast something can just be taken away. Everything can be gone in a blink of an eye, really. Uh, when we first went in uh, to record our first album, we went in and it, we did it for two weeks, two weeks straight. Um, and of course, we're all working day jobs, so we'd be at our day jobs for eight hours. And we'd go to the studio, we'd be there for about eight hours a night, and we did this for about two weeks, if, if not longer. Most exhausting studio experience ever to me, it seemed like it was just so tough. Um, and also, too, the whole while, Josiah's have, starting to have vocal issues uh, with her sinuses and such, so she's having some problems, ends up having to go to a couple of specialists and whatnot. Uh, September 2010 um, was tough. Um, I've had a sinus surgery every year in a row up until that point and for us to be done with all the music and yeah I could have sang on the album but I knew I couldn't do what I really wanted to do and knew, uh, do what I was capable of. So I decided to go to Vanderbilt at the Voice Center uh, to get you know the best treatment I could and really determine if it's really on my vocal cords and my sinuses what's causing all these issues um, and to not be able to do what you love and you've always been able to do, um, it's really, it's really tough. The album kind of sat there for several months before she was able and ready to go in and do vocals. So on the day that we go in to do vocals, um, we get a call from the producer that was doing the uh, CD, tells us that we've lost all the tracks. Everything is done and gone, completely, totally erased. So two exhausting weeks, basically down the drain. So we have to go back in, uh, re-record the whole album, uh, you know, another, we did it for over a period of two or three months, more exhausting studio work. Uh, you know, and at the end of that, we finally came out with, you know, a good album that was good and done, but, you know, now we're ready to move past all that and uh, get a new recording, which is basically what we're doing all this for.